so I need to work on this column now. Now that I use, have that one, I need to use it to make these be zero. So let's work on making that be a zero. So what two, would I do? 2R1 plus R2. 2R1 added to R2. So I'm going to first copy the two rows that don't change to make sure I have those written down right. And I'll get zero here, but then I have four plus six, ten. Two times three is six, plus negative six is zero. Two times negative four is negative eight, plus two, negative six. Yeah? Okay, keep working in that column. I need this to be a zero. So what would I do? R1 plus R3. Question. I'm going to write down the rows that don't change. So I'll get 0, then I'll get, let's see where I'm at, negative 3 R1. So negative 6 plus 12 is 6. Negative 9 plus 6, negative 3. And I'll have 12 plus 12 is yeah. Uh, can you go along just like that across the page on like work? Yes, that's why I said matrices go across. Okay. I just don't have room to go more than two or three. All right. Now I need to work on making one of these be a one. So here's where it can get tricky. I could introduce fractions. I want to avoid that if I can, wait. unless it's going to affect. Wait, what? Do they have to be a 1, though? Yes. That is how we do this. A 1, and zeros in the column. A 1, and zero in the column. Unless they're both zeros. So you kind of like do um, the third column, put a 1 there. It's not going to help you because you still have to fix the second column. So if you skip to the third column, when you go to do the second column, it's going to redo all your third column. So it's, it's going to bring you in lots of extra work. As I said, you got to work column by column. Okay. Um, so I can start thinking of any multiples of 10 and multiples of 6 that would get me within 1. If I can't think of anything, I might have to resort to fractions. Can you do negative 1 half R2 plus R3? Negative, wait a minute, say that. Negative 1 half R2 plus R3. You could. Yeah, that will get both. That, won't, that will worry us unusual, but yes, we can do that. So we can do negative one half R2 plus R3. That will give me a negative five here plus the six. Not always what you have to do. There's more than one way to do these matrices, but you will still end up with the same answer. Okay, so here I get zero, one, negative three. That will give me positive three plus 24 is 27. And the reason that stuff did work, you want to avoid fractions if you can, but see how this didn't create any fractions? That's what you want to try to avoid. You can't always avoid it, but you want to try. That's where the thinking part comes in. Okay, now I need to work, now that I have my one, make these be zeros. Let's work on that two. So I have to do negative two R3 plus R1. Copy my other rows down. So I have one, zero. See, that give me six plus three is nine. That'll give me, what, 50, negative 58? Is that correct? You better make sure I'm right. Yes, no. I need someone to agree with me. Yes, because you should be doing the math, too, because if we mess up, we're going to go way back to the beginning and find where we mess up, and that takes forever. So don't just be like, yeah, Ms. Moore, I'm sure you're good. Double check. Okay, now let's work on making this be a zero. What would I have to do? <coughs> Negative 10R3 plus R2. The other rows don't change. So 
zero, zero. They give me 30 plus zero is 30. Ugh. They have 270. They have 276. Gross, but we're getting there. First two columns are done. Next one, I need to make a one, and there's only one spot that you have to do. This 30 needs to be a one, correct? And there's no other way. You can't use any other rows. We have to introduce fractions. 1 30th R2. Does reduce. What's that reduced to? Help me out. You can just tag me real quick. Yeah. Just so we can get that done. Negative 46 fifths. Negative 46 fifths. I want yep. someone else to confirm that. Yeah. Got another yes? Yep, 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 more. yep, 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 yep. Not just from the same person. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'll wait. Got it again. but we're close to the end. Okay. Keep those calculators out because we're going to be using them. So now that I have my 1, I need to make these be zeros. So let's work on that 9. What would I need to do? Negative 9 R2 plus R1. So I'm going to write down the other rows that don't change. So I will get 1, 0, 0. Help me out. What will I get in the third one? Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is what you type in. Making that be zero, what should I do? 3R2 plus R3. Okay, so the other two rows don't change. Here I'll get 0, 1, 0, and help me out for the last. You should be doing 3 times 27 plus negative 46 fifths. I'm sorry, 3 times negative 46 fifths plus 27. Okay, 3 fifths? See a couple other knots. Yes? Okay. Almost done! What do I need to do? Flip 2 and 3. Yep, swap R2 and R3. 